I'm Janet Parsons, and I'm a research scientist here at St. Michael's Hospital, and I'm also cross-appointed at the Department of Physical Therapy at University of Toronto. And uh, it's well established that vaccin influenza vaccination rates amongst frontline healthcare workers are remain low worldwide, and we know that. And but the reasons for that uh, remain unclear. And um, we undertook a very small pilot investigation here at St. Michael's Hospital back in the 2007-2008 flu season. And we wanted to find out what was informing healthcare workers, frontline workers, decisions of whether they had or hadn't had the flu shot. We interviewed a, just a very small sample, just 11 healthcare workers. It was a very small pilot study, and we interviewed half of them had had the flu shot that season, and half of them hadn't. And the findings were really interesting because even though uh, public health agencies, um, uh, policymakers, and healthcare organizations um, say that the primary reason for vaccinating frontline healthcare workers is to protect patients, and particularly patients who are vulnerable to complications from the flu under their care. Um, that's not what the healthcare workers that we interviewed talked about. Instead, they framed it as a whether, regardless of their vaccination status, whether they had or hadn't been vaccinated, they framed it in terms of personal experience, that um, if they'd had a bad personal experience with having the flu, that that would be a primary motivator for them to get the flu shot in future. And that was also true if their family members or friends had had bad experiences with the flu. The other uh, group who hadn't been vaccinated cited personal experiences with bad experiences of the flu shot and that they had had a lot of side effects, um, that their side effects had been dismissed by occupational health staff, um, and that that was sort of their primary motivation for not um, getting the flu shot. And again, they framed it very personally. The other thing that was interesting was that none of the healthcare workers we interviewed, whether they'd been vaccinated or not, both groups said that they didn't feel they had sufficient evidence to really, as they understood it, to really inform their um, decisions about taking the flu shot. So um, they were asking for uh, more evidence, uh, better quality evidence, and from trusted sources that they would like to have. So they weren't, it wasn't that they hadn't looked for it, but they didn't feel that it was really um, definitive. And then finally, there were a lot of um, misperceptions and uh, communication gaps that um, were occurring between the frontline staff that became apparent between frontline staff and the people who are actually implementing the flu vaccine policy here at the hospital. So it was a very small study, um, but it posed some really interesting um, avenues for future research and I think starts to hint at the fact that this is a very complex issue for people and um, that we should probably look at it in more depth. Thanks very much.